Okay, this is like my second time trying to film this, so hopefully nothing goes wrong. Uh, hi everyone, welcome back. I am doing yet another journal flip through. This time it's number 25, um, and it's kind of like a composition notebook. Um, I got this from The Range, which is a shop in the UK, and yeah, <laughs> what else to say. Apologies in advance if you hear anything, my window's wide open because the UK is currently having a ridiculous heat wave right now and I am melting, so there's that. Uh, okay, let's get started. Um, I started this on the day that I had a birthday party. I turned 16, or was I 17? 17, I'd have been 17. Um, and I invited my friends over and we just played games and acted like idiots and it was a really really it was it was one of my uh, favorite birthdays I think um because I've never really had like a, a girly birthday kind of thing before so that was fun this was the cake that I had some of the wrapping paper tags and bits and pieces from the gifts that I got and then on my actual birthday, we went to a Chinese restaurant and then we came back and did these like sprinklers, sprinklers, sparklers, which was really cool. It's a random crappy watercolour. <laughs> uh, this is the art room. That's my friend Beth. I hope she doesn't mind me showing her face. She probably won't. But yeah, that this is the art room that I was telling you guys about where it was just basically our room it was like a home away from home um and yeah that's me i had black hair at the time and great <laughs> depression was still very high in this journal so yeah i watched teen wolf for the first time i actually watched the first season and then didn't watch it again for like a few years and i recently re-watched it again and i'm on like season four now i think so my favourite character is uh, Lydia, if anyone cares. <laughs> Picture of my cat biting my hand. Basically, <laughs> this is a picture of my English literature teacher and this is a Snapchat filter and she's throwing the pen. I didn't film this, someone else did, but th that sums up our English literature group pretty accurately. <laughs> I don't even know how much I learned in this class, but yeah <laughs> can't explain it um a walk with my friends <laughs> um another walk we went on and then this was my trip to amsterdam um the boarding pass and then the map i tried to mark on all the places that we went to um because we did a lot of walking but i don't think i put on everywhere that we went. Um, I really want to go back to Amsterdam. It was beautiful and yeah we went to the Anne Frank house which was very sad and emotional as you can imagine. Um, and I got these two postcards. Um, they actually sold journals that kind of look like a replica of this so of course I had to get one but I haven't used it yet because I kind of can't bring myself to use it if that makes sense but I will use it one day and then I thought that was just really like bittersweet I guess um, and then that's a picture of me I'd never actually tried any of the weed products because I didn't really want to but I tried this uh, lollipop that was supposed to be cannabis flavored and it tasted awful so I had to take a selfie um, just sort of like a collage or a postcard and a quote. And I actually went to Amsterdam with my ex-girlfriend who I've mentioned before. And we went to the um, bench that's featured in um, The Fault in Our Stars. And people have like written and engraved and like, like all over so we did the same. Um, and then I picked up this leaf and I wrote a quote on it from Fulton Ourselves. I um, went over some coins and we went to this bodyworks um, exhibition thing. Uh, it was really 
Oh, that's bizarre. Like, if you're squeamish, don't. It wouldn't be for you. It, it was interesting, but just very bizarre. Um, so that was an experience. Um, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like actual real people that have been like preserved, which I guess is great for science, but whatever. And then that's how that this is really how Amsterdam looks. It was stunning. Um, you can walk down any street and it looks like this. It's just so beautiful. Um, and then this was, we went on one of the canal cruise boat trip things, which is really nice. And then this was all the stuff, like coming back on the plane. Um, this journal, I actually really suffered with depression still, um, but I won't go into it because, yeah, <laughs> thanks to teenager phase. <clears throat> and emo phase. Let's see for Ragnarok. Um, apparently, I doodled myself. <laughs> Another school absence slip. For some reason, I don't know if anyone else feels this way, but whenever I'm feeling really emotional or depressed or anything along those lines, I just become a lot more artistic. Maybe because I need to get it out of my system. I don't know. But. Yeah, I was quite artsy in this journal. I'm not really sure why. Um, I've just got some Alice Wonderland doodles. <laughs> and another one. Weird doodles. <laughs> oh, so my friend, um, for our final art project in sixth form, we had to pick like a theme, and hers was based around um, like eating disorders and body image and that kind of thing. Um, and <laughs> she told me to like lie on the floor and look like I was in pain, but obviously I'm not like thin enough. Uh, this sounds horrible to talk about, but you you get what I'm saying. So she made me like breathe in, said that you could see my ribs, and let me have one of the pictures and just yeah, I do love. Oh. <laughs> And um, more angsty, emo teenager stuff. <laughs> okay, um, this is it. Ugh, get my words out. This was the view from my old window at my old house, and there was this spider that lived in the corner, kind of like Charlotte's Web. Um, and I called it Gatsby after reading The Great Gatsby. And then one day I looked out there and saw this like, I don't know if it was an egg sack or what, so it turned out that Gatsby was Gatsbella. Mm, so I had to, I had to save it because like every morning when I wake up and open my curtains I'll be like, morning Gatsbella, <laughs> so I just, I saved it. Picture of me in a nice dress, we must have been going to some kind of event or something. Uh, random stuff. Oh, so my final project was based on um, the Salem Witch Trials, so I just had these, like, left over. Oh, and I became obsessed with BuzzFeed Unsolved, um, with Shane, Shane and Ryan. Um, I love them, they're so funny. I could binge watch the BuzzFeed Unsolved Supernatural, like, all day. Um, and this was a book that I was reading because of Amsterdam, and apparently I was watching Daredevil. And um, that's a doodle of me. Oh, these are like my favourite cakes. Um, another like doodle of me. Some Bring Me The Horizon song lyrics. Oh, oh I turned 18 in this journal, not 17. <laughs> this was one of the balloons that I had up um, in the house. And I wanted to save it because it's not every day you turn 18, right? <laughs> um, that's it. That's just a picture I doodled of me and my girlfriend when we went to Pride. Um, and then that's a picture of me and Orion, my cat. <laughs> Look how small he is in this picture. He's so cute. Um, and yeah, that's it. I know this one was a very short flip through, but um, 
I guess it was kind of like a, a thinner journal. Um, but as always guys, thank you for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.